Congratulations on the purchase of the Tipman Boss Hand Stitcher. With this durable, needle-fed lock stitch machine and the information provided in this video, you will be able to achieve precision quality stitching and enjoyable satisfaction for many, many years. When you open the carton containing your new machine, you will find the following items. An operating manual, a DVD, a thread stand, a thread guide, a spool of thread, a box of accessories, and the basic machine. The accessory box contains several Allen wrenches, a few bolts needed for assembly, a thread cutter, an extra bobbin, a bobbin winder, a small screwdriver, and an assortment of 10 needles. For safety and ease of operation, it is important to fasten the boss to a sturdy table or workbench. Mark the location of the bolt holes. Drill holes to accommodate a 3 8 inch bolt or lag screw. Now you can securely fasten your machine through the three holes provided into the bench or table of your choice. At this time, it is a good idea to refer to the operator's manual to do the final assembly of the machine. Attach the handle as you can see to the shaft on one end of the machine and with the bolt provided go through the handle and into the machine itself. After you have screwed it all the way in and the nut has been attached, please use the Allen wrench provided to tighten this uh, onto the machine very securely. Next, we will attach the thread stand, locate the hole on top of the machine, and using the thread stand and the thread guide and the bolt provided, fasten it to the top of the machine and tighten it with the provided Allen wrench. Next, check the presser foot. Squeeze the handle and the foot should come up leaving about a 7 8 inch gap under the foot. Now check the stitching handle. Pull it all the way down until it clicks and then all the way up. This is important to do this every time. It is now time to install the needle. Lower the needle foot by lowering the stitch handle until the needle set screw is visible. Insert the needle shank first fully into the needle bar hole with the scarf spot facing the needle set screw. With needle fully inserted and the scarf spot facing the needle set screw, tighten set screw firmly using the Allen wrench provided with your machine. Check the instruction book on how to set the bobbin into the bobbin shuttle. Locate the bobbin shuttle at the end of the cylinder bed. Press the shuttle release latch to release the bobbin cylinder. Remove the empty bobbin and get ready to wind it with thread. Provided with your boss hand stitcher is a tooled bobbin winder tool. This fits into the end of a drill. Once secured into the drill, Place the bobbin on its slotted end and start winding the thread until you can complete winding the bobbin with the drill. Do not wind the thread on the bobbin to the point where it has to be forced into the bobbin shuttle. 
Insert the bobbin so that the thread will come off counterclockwise. Hold the bobbin in place to keep it from turning and pull out about 8 inches of thread. Now is a good time to consult your instruction book on how to thread the machine. Loop the thread over the thread stand, thread guide A. Pass thread through two holes in thread guide B. Weave thread around the guide post C. Loop the thread counterclockwise around the back side of the secondary tensioner. Loop thread clockwise once around the primary tensioner wheel. Pass the thread through guide post F. Pass the thread through the take up arm. Continue threading through guide H as shown and down edge of machine toward the needle foot. Now pass the thread through the eye of the needle and pull out about 8 inches of thread. Now consult the operator's manual to see how to thread the bobbin and the needle thread. Just cycle the machine, it should pick up the thread, and then just pull it up as you can see. You may need to do this several times. You are now ready to begin sewing. Pull both threads to the back as you can see. Cycle the machine to do a stitch. Make sure you pull the handle all the way down and all the way up for each stitch. This will give you a complete stitch every time. Use a piece of scrap leather to test your machine. It is always a good idea to scribe a guideline. When doing the edge, you can do it with a wing divider, an adjustable creaser, or an adjustable stitching groover. When beginning a stitch line, it's always best to start by locking the stitches. Do a few stitches, then back it up, line up the hole and stitch. Back up another hole, line it up and stitch. After you have backed off to your first hole, then you can begin stitching. Stitching around corners is easy. Go to the corner stitch, turn the material as you can see, and continue stitching. Every time you reach the end of a stitch line, it's a good idea to back stitch. Just go to your last stitch, lift the presser foot, turn it around, and back stitch two or three stitches. Keep the operator's manual handy as you learn to use your Tipman Boss. It will help you with fine tuning and making adjustments and corrections as needed. It will also help you with the care and maintenance of your machine.